from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Jed Castle. There's just so much going on today. Oh, man. Lots of stuff going yeah, on. we got some football, news. too. There you now, go. Let's keep it on the Sooner train here. We'll talk about the game day forecast. OSU having a bye weekend this weekend. So we'll talk about the Sooners here. Going to be a hot one on the way. Pre-game, 92. This will be an evening kickoff. Kickoff time, 7 p.m. And we'll see temperatures drop out of the 80s into the 70s. We'll be in the low 70s by the time the game comes to an end. Southerly breezes. Looks like we'll see a great forecast coming our way. Maybe a brief little shower, light shower possible sometime during the day. Maybe up to kickoff. The chances right now for that will be only at 10%. I can go ahead and pack the rain gear, but I don't think you'll need it. Let's talk about this nice cool down that's built in across uh, much of the country. We had the Canadian air kind of spill down into the country, and we're feeling the effects of it this morning with many spots in the 40s, 50s over the northern parts of the countries, 50s and 60s cover much of the central sections, and got to go far south to find that warm and humid air, which is now shifted down toward the Gulf Coast. Checking the view on radar right now, there are some showers going on from the Panhandle up into Kansas, so we'll keep a little bit of rain going. These areas up in northwest Oklahoma, you'll see a little rain, but the amounts just won't be that much. We need a lot more than what we're getting. We had a little rain yesterday as well up in the northern part of the state, but boy, once it hits the ground, it's like it just uh, evaporates because the drought is so intense. That drought has really kicked in. You see those darker reddish to almost brownish shed uh, shaded colors. That's uh, the worst of the worst. That's what's called an exceptional drought from Ponca over to north of Grand Lake. See some spots there uh, between Kingfisher to Watonga and then southeast Oklahoma. It's really built in from Seminole, Ada, uh, Holtonville, McAllister, and southwest Oklahoma as well. The rest of us, we're dealing with just a tough drought from a moderate, severe to extreme drought covering the state. And this is just the last 30 days. It's, if you go back, pat, back past that, it's way below that, but we are below normal. All these numbers indicate below normal rainfall for the last month. Highest area down in south and southeast Oklahoma. Well, outside of that, let's go to the good news here. 58 right now. Nice start out there. Northeast winds, eight miles per hour. If you're making plans to go to the state fair, you have today, you have tomorrow, and then it ends on Sunday. So some great weather to be at the state fair, especially during the morning hours, 70 at 10. You're 80 by noon today. We will heat it up during the afternoon, so dress appropriately for that. Dress in layers if you'll be out there all day. 89 at 2 o'clock, and it'll be 92 by 4 o'clock today. Now, I think the allergy alert really from this map is going to be from yesterday. It seems like this morning conditions have come down a bit. We'll have a new update on that count here coming up at noon today, but boy, allergies have been quite tough, particularly that ragweed, which has been just out of control. Morning temperatures ranging in the 50s. Some low 60s around here out the door this morning, so enjoy that quiet, cool air. Well, the tropics, they are cranking up now. There's Fiona. Fiona now has dropped back down to a Category 3 hurricane. Massive hurricane, super cane there, lifting to the north, staying off the coast. We'll talk a little bit more about that. Now, the next storm developing here, this is going to be Hermine. It's right now a depression, depression number 9, and it's expected to lift toward the north and west of the Caribbean. Latest track on it has it moving up across Cuba and then turning back toward Florida by uh, late Tuesday, early Wednesday. So we'll continue to monitor that track. That'll be a hurricane by the time it gets there. Now here's Fiona lifting northward. Watch something that's really fascinating. You want to see something really interesting? Watch the track on this. It moves due north up toward the Arctic Circle. Grabs become a depression up near Greenland. Way, way north. So that's kind of a wild track there. 90s all the way for today. Rain chance possible as we go into the morning hours. As we look at our forecast for tonight, 60s on the way, warm it back up some, and then another rain chance on the way for your Saturday. Watching those temps in the 90s. But those 90s won't stick around. It's mainly 80s for highs taking us into next week as a seasonable dry pattern is on the way.